Ooh, the first flip is always a bit tedious. A little undercooked. There we go. Coffee's the lifeblood. Real maple syrup. Yeah, that's the good stuff. I just wanted to show for the record that I cooked this second batch a lot better. Uh, I like something sweet in my coffee. Morning. Well, it's almost afternoon, so this is a late breakfast, but yeah, I felt like making some vegan pancakes. Uh, I usually do eat a little bit healthier than this. A bit of an indulgence, uh, but yeah, usually it's like toast and peanut butter, oatmeal, carbon up. I like something sweet in my coffee, like I always say, uh, but we got a big day ahead of us, so let's get out there. All right, so close up, extreme close up of the face. Uh, just want to note, I am aware of how uneven my hair is here. I've been cutting my own hair basically since COVID started. Uh, at first just because we were staying in, but then because I realized I could save a lot of money. However, I don't do a very good job always, uh, and I haven't finished off the top. It's very uneven, very hard to use scissors to cut your hair when you're not used to doing that, so I might have to enlist uh, Sandy's help to help straighten that out later today, but it's been bothering me. I look like a uh, big bird or something. All right, so time of giving, time of materialistic items, great gift giving ideas. I'm gonna do a little gear drop, uh, cause like I like to say to my good friend Pacer the dog, uh, make it a good full send type of day, but also make it a plugging day. And this is a sponsor plug, obviously a shameless product sponsor promotion. Uh, I've been with Hoka for a really long time though, many, many years and really appreciate their support. And it's like Christmas came early here because we got a gear drop. Uh. Yeah, that's a big box. So, these are some of my favorite items that just came in from Hoka. Was asking for some warm winter jackets. We got this, this thing delivered. This is a Sky Quilt jacket. It's like a lightweight running puffy. Uh, I ran in it the other day because it was like 10 degrees Fahrenheit out here and it felt great. Uh, super lightweight yet super insulated uh, for a running jacket or everyday wear jacket, Sky Quilt, check it out from Hoka. Some more favorite items uh, that came in this Hoka drop, which is available on the Hoka website, by the way, at least in the US, is this transport rain jacket. Uh, so yeah, super durable water uh, repellent, and it's got this hood, nice protected zipper, pretty heavy duty, protect you in the winter elements, out in the rain especially, but also pelting snow and wind. It's got the pockets up front, so, Really like that. Again, the transport jacket from Hoka. Pretty excited about all this new gear. Honestly, I could go skiing in this bad boy. You know, I got some running tights from Hoka, but I also got these, I believe this is the transport pant. Uh, yeah, look at these pockets. It's like a, more of a relaxed fit, uh, cargo style, pockets and everything. Uh, lightweight running pant, but pretty durable. Nice and warm layers there. Uh, another color option on this, or actually this is the Mission Jogger uh, from Hoka, so pretty cool getting all this uh, warm weather long sleeve gear. So yeah, I really appreciate Hoka support since 2014. Uh, this half, half zip wind shell, really kick ass, I uh, like the design here. These are just a few of the new clothing item features that I'm very lucky, I feel very fortunate to get from Hoka. All this gear, a uh, huge box of gear, I'm just showing some of my favorites so far. Um, but yeah, pretty cool type of uh, situation here. And then finally, since we're plugging stuff from Hoka, shout out sponsor plug, kick-ass shoe, the new Mach 5 colorway. I think it's pretty cool looking. Check it out. Uh, thanks again, Hoka. It's like Christmas came early for me. Oh yes, almost forgot my very favorite. The Men's Mission Full Zip. It's like a base layer. Uh, nice kind of like a fleece. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's nice and warm. It's got the pockets. It's got the style, I think. Uh, so really cool. Check it out. 
So yeah, yay or nay, let me know in the comments. Are you excited about this new Hoka apparel, at least in the US, I've released it on the website. Winter gear, always great when I'm running in the cold snowy wind or rain out here in the elements, also racing around the world in different climates. To have this, uh, I feel very, very fortunate, very privileged, uh, very lucky. So thank you, Hoka, check them out, uh, give them a shout out. Let me know what kind of gear you guys like to see. Uh, it could be from, uh, it doesn't have to be from my sponsored brands necessarily, but uh, you know, excited gear that you are, gear that you're excited about. It could be uh, new shoes, it could be winter wear jackets or any questions or tips you guys have uh, for running in colder weather. A lot of us in the Northern Hemisphere in the world, uh, we're going into the heart of winter, short days, cold wind, cold rain, maybe snow. So uh, let us know in the comments below, thank you. Always be plugging, Coros Vertex 2 watch. Great for ski touring. All right, let's go outside and exercise. Wah! All right, on the road, driving up to the local hill, which is Monarch, basically Monarch Pass, Monarch Ski Resort, uh, Continental Divide, so super high altitude. Always a little worried, because uh, the weather down here in town in Salida is a lot uh, more mild than it is up there, right? We don't have snow on the ground. It is kind of around freezing down here. The thing is, Sandy and I saw the weather forecast up there. It said 4.5 degrees. That's in Fahrenheit with about a 90% humidity. Chance of high wind as well and blowing snow. So always tricky going up mountain weather. Got to bundle up with some extra layers and uh, we'll see when we get up there. I mean, Sandy was uh, a little nervous. She put her ski boots on already in the car, so <laughs> that's telling you something. Usually you put the ski boots on in the parking lot, but it's hard starting off up there sometimes. It's a different climate. We'll see what the road conditions are up at that high altitude in the mountains, but only a 20 minute drive from here, so let's get up there. if it wasn't for the high humidity and the wind. Pro tip, got to put the chorus watch on the outside of the, the sleeve here. There we go, like that. Get it in ski touring mode. It's gonna film down here, down low early before the GoPro dies. Battery tends to die in the GoPro in this cold. So we'll try to get some shots. Going up, pretty good snow, got some fresh pow. It's a good workout. Oh, my hand's cold. stuff right there. <laughs> Beautiful evening on the divide. All right, I gotta use my phone now because my GoPro battery finally died in the cold. I'll show you some B-roll shots of my powder turns yesterday in the trees because it was a great pow day up here, but Sandy and I are topping out. 11,800 feet. Put that in meters there. Also check out the Celsius temperature. It's pretty chilly, but uh, we're bundled up, so we're comfortable. You actually work up a ton of body heat going uphill. So it's a great workout. Fun way to embrace the winter weather conditions at high altitude on a mountain. Just mentioned I got the Camelback. Octane pack on. Beautiful evening. I always like to say to pace for the dog. Make it a full send type of day. We'll run the clips uh, from yesterday downhill. I'm not sure how much I want to get today. I don't have the Insta360 or the GoPro working, so 
little harder to film with iPhone out here. You take your gloves off and it's so cold. It is a beautiful evening. I feel very fortunate. back from skiing now. Nice pleasant evening, afternoon, out on the slopes of Sandy. Uh, working on our downhill form, we're both beginners. So uh, yeah, look at how many layers I had on. I loved how the soak gear worked. Kept me nice and warm, even in those pretty extreme winter conditions on the mountain. Uh, but yeah, definitely layered up. That's what you gotta do with winter, winter running and winter sports. Let's make some hot chocolate. Right, hot cocoa time. I'm gonna have it in my insulated uh, Camelback mug here. Uh, it's got this nice travel lid too. Check them out, there's a sponsor plug. Thank you Camelback. Love drinking out of uh, these reusable hot thermos uh, types of different products. You can check them out, good camping gear as well. Nice and durable. Little lumpy, should have whisked it. <laughs> What would really be the bee's knees is if this had, if I had some vegan marshmallows or some whipped cream to spray on top of this hot cocoa. Usually more of a coffee person, but it's late in the day. Uh, speaking of which, got to get to work, so I need to have a business meeting. Uh, we're going to do some updates to the website. Check it out. Higher running business plug. We got gift cards available. Gift cards. You could check out uh, digital gifts if you need a holiday gift. Uh, let people choose what plan they want. Give them a $20 uh, or $25 gift card, digital gift card, they could use one-time use uh, to apply it to a uh, training plan or training plans. Uh, but check that out on the website. That is a business plug. Thank you so much for all your support. Uh, but we do do work. We don't just play all day in the mountains. I mean, we have some flexibility as small business owners. Uh, but, you know, doing the coaching, doing the website, doing social media gigs as well is a big part of it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's also the idea that <laughs> it's hard in the U.S. And I've been shopping around on this online uh, health exchange, buying health insurance as a self-employed individual, and I don't wanna go on a side rant too much here, but it's been really frustrating. Uh, and it's something I never really considered because I was like, ah, oh, I don't need to go to the doctor. I don't need to go to the dentist. I don't have any problems till you have major health problems uh, like I did last year. And still going into this year, getting some specialty tests done at a special clinic uh, in Denver uh, where my insurance, it's out of network, so to speak. So my catastrophic health insurance plan, which did cover a lot of my emergency room bills last year, doesn't cover a lot of my preventative care, my doctor appointments, my specialist appointments, and my specialist tests. So I'm paying out of pocket and it's kind of a racket. Um, and it's been tough because I'm getting plans on this exchange where, you know, it doesn't, the website wasn't even working very well earlier today, but I have to submit today to get ready for January 1st coverage for 2023. And, you know, you have these monthly payments, you know, close hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month for an individual um, for a plan that's kind of a catastrophic plan, right? The, the max out of pocket is like $9,000 USD and the, the deductibles usually at least six, seven, eight thousand dollars and if I'm not even counting towards that, I'm basically paying out of pocket. I'm paying in cash uh, to these health service providers. Uh, but I'm I'm also paying the, the monthly premium for uh, my catastrophic plan. And it's very frustrating. I've learned uh, being self-employed, you're not part of a bigger network or a bigger type of insurance group policy. Um, and you know, as our own, as our own, uh, working independent as an independent contractor for sponsors, working as a self-employed person, uh, for your own LLC or for your own coaching business, uh, without a ton of employees to cover full time, it gets a little tricky. And so I don't know people who in the U S healthcare system or other first world countries, uh, where you'd think the healthcare would be, uh, more affordable for all, uh, it's been, it's been a struggle and, uh, 
something that's near and dear in my heart because health is wealth and I'm still struggling uh, with getting a lot of these tests done to try to make sure I've got my best foot forward heading into the 2023 season because uh, yeah it's just been there's it's just it's just very frustrating and, and backwards and so sorry for the side rant there but uh very costly you would think in a first world country with uh, modern technologies and uh you know good health testing facilities that the cost would be more affordable uh to members of society but that has not been the case and the insurance policies is a bidding war basically uh with a lot of different variables and price points and confusing things at least for me coming in so uh, maybe you could share your own story uh, with healthcare at least in the u.s especially if you're self-employed uh, like sandy and i are and uh, you're kind of on your own or you're maybe in another country where the system works quite a bit different because um, i've seen some examples some really good examples uh, from other countries around the world uh, health in my mind shouldn't be so much of a commodity as a, a basic human right and having access to quality care has been really near and dear to my heart, especially having all these catastrophic events and knowing that maybe if I had uh, healthcare earlier and faster and it wasn't so costly, I wouldn't have been so hesitant to go to the emergency room and get a lot of these tests done, but we're trying to do that now. So thanks for your support. Uh, you know, people watching this YouTube video, it really helps a lot. People buying plans from Higher Running, uh, support from the sponsors and, and everyone in the running community. It's, it's meant the world to, to Sandy and I, so thank you very much and uh, hope you're doing well too. Let's uh, get in a workout. Uh, Sandy and I have some business to take care of, some work to do. We work at night a lot of times and early in the morning so we could go out and play in the mountains during the day. Uh, and we really appreciate that fle flexibility and your support uh, for this wonderful lifestyle. Uh, so no complaints there, but uh, I'm gonna do a little power hike on the treadmill probably later this evening before dinner. Get in an extra thousand feet of vert. I like to do a mile uphill, 1600 meters uphill at 20% grade, uphill grade on the treadmill uh, at night in the comfort of our home because it's cold and dark outside now, but I could do a power hike uphill because it's pretty steep and get the heart rate up, get the blood flow moving, get in a thousand feet of extra vertical and an extra mile in distance on the Nordic track. Um, and yeah, I'll do that and I'll show you that and then what we eat for dinner, but wrap things up with this vlog. Oh, all right. Evening session on the treadmill, power hike, one mile, 20% uphill grade. Get my hookahs on here. I'm listening to a lot of music when I do these things. Uh, I've been on a big red hot chili peppers kick. Uh, I really like snow. Play that on repeat all the time. Under the bridge is good. Uh, who else likes red hot chili peppers? Good music. I'll throw back to the to the nineties. Right, I think we'll be heating up in here pretty quickly, so get the music blasting. Let's crank this out before dinner time. Come on, Bluetooth. Oh yeah, I have to crank this bad boy up to like 3.2, 3.3 miles an hour. Pretty strong hike. And it's dinner time. Gotta see what feast Sandy made. Those look like vegetable carrot noodles, but she got me the regular noodles because I like, I like the whole wheat. Got some toppings for that, tofu, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms. And of course, got an Avery Old Jube, shout out sponsor Avery Brewing of Boulder, Colorado. Old Jube seasonal uh, celebration, uh, I'll call it a Christmas beer. Um, definitely a winter warmer for these cold winter nights. Love the Avery. And uh, yeah, bon appetit. I'm uh, gonna dig in here, got a tortilla in the oven as well, but uh, pasta with veggies and some tofu for protein. But uh, Thanks so much for following along on this vlog. Again, great gift idea. Just saying, check out the gift cards on our website. It's higherrunning.com. Training plans also, if you want to buy one for yourself, uh, you could check that out. You'll get the downloaded uh, a gift card, a digital uh, PDF form that you could send to uh, whoever you're buying the gift for so they could then get a training plan using that credit. So check it out. Thanks so much for all your support. Thanks to the Patreon supporters for really making this channel possible. And uh, definitely thanks to title sponsor Hoka, keeping the dream alive. Got more training talks coming your way. 
Uh, hope you're doing well this holiday season. Thanks so much for all your support, liking, subscribing on here. Hope you're doing well, and stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions. Time to eat.